guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashmika. Welcome to Globwaja Makes It Pay channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, guys, I'm going to specifically talk about the creative fabrica because uh, it's one of the most hot topic being discussed on my channel. Like I've been getting a lot of comments about the creative fabrica, about opening up the shop and various things regarding it. And also some people asking me that is it really worth to open up a shop on Creative Fabrica? Is it really worth to sell on Creative Fabrica? So I'm gonna talk about Creative Fabrica more in this video. So stick till the end of this video guys and don't forget to click on the like button before actually going into the good part because I would really appreciate that if you do so. Now let's get started with the main part of the video guys. Okay. Creative Fabrica, I already made a bunch of videos talking about the Creative Fabrica, how much I make in my first month and talking about my sales on so far like 150 plus sales and my review my six month review i've been made a bunch of videos in fact i've made a complete playlist talking about the creative fabric on my channel so if you want to check all those videos out you can check all those videos in the card section above guys i'm gonna link the complete creative fabric playlist in the card section above for you guys to check it out before actually knowing of what exactly the creative fabric is because i have made a bunch of videos talking about it okay guys you need to get an approval to open up a shop on creative fabrica and to get an approval you need to provide your portfolio link or your designer link whatever way you are selling if you are selling on the Etsy or redbubble or any other print on demand websites or anywhere on the online space if you're selling your artwork your designs you can link that uh, portfolio link your shop link to that uh, application in which you're gonna submit the application or request for you to open up a shop on their creative fabric and once they review your application they approve your application then you are allowed to sell onto the creative fabric now many people were asking me that is it really worth it to sell on the creative fabric i mean is it really worth it or is this not worth it because it's just a new platform like yeah it's a new platform it started back in 2016 so it's haven't been discussed right now, like it haven't been uh, discovered so much till right now in comparison to other platform out there. Although the traffic is increasing daily, in fact monthly on this uh, platform, but still new. So many people are asking, is it really worth it guys? I want to tell you, yes guys, it's worth it to open up a shop on the Creative Fabrica. It's really, really worth it guys. Because once there are many benefits of opening up a shop on Creative Fabrica, which I'm going to talk about, which is really, really amazing. And none other people, in fact, none other platform on this online space provide you with that facility as in comparison to the Creative Fabrica, which I find personally is really, really awesome. So I'm going to talk about those things in this video, guys. The first thing is the approval. Now, there is an approval. You need to get an approval to open up a shop on the Creative Fabrica, which is really awesome, guys. Why is that so? Because not many people can open up on Creative Fabrica. That means not much competition is there on the Creative Fabrica right now. Although the traffic is increasing each month on the platform, but not many people are there to sell on the Creative Fabrica. That means not many designers are there. You don't need to compete with many designers. That means there is more likely chances for you to found onto the Creative Fabrica to get more sales and to make more income. So it's really, really awesome because not many people are allowed to open up a shop on their platform. The barrier of entry is high. That means not many people are there. Then that means the competition is less. And since the competition is less, you can grow on that platform. You can sell your work and your work can easily be found on the platform by many people who are actually purchasing on their platform, which is really, really a benefit also and really a disadvantage for those of you guys who didn't get an approval and thinking how to get an approval. So it's a, like it's a benefit and it's a disadvantage if both in the way but I take it as an advantage because I already have a shop on this so I see it as advantage because not many people are allowed to put up a shop so I have a shop so my stuff will going to easily be found for people who are actually looking and purchasing on their platform now second thing guys which is really really awesome is that you are paid even if your designs or your artwork is not selling on their platform let me explain that they have a kind of a different type of payment model like the designers are paid in differently you can check out the designer terms and designer paid option on their platform i'm gonna link all those things in the description box below for you guys to check it out but if you're just opening up a shop and uploading your artwork uploading your design on the platform you're gonna get paid even if your artwork is not selling 
because of because of their business model which is really awesome you are getting paid for uploading on their platform without actually you to sell like even if your artwork is not selling right now and you are uploading on the platform you are getting paid which is really really awesome no one is giving you money for uploading your artwork your designs or any other platform out there so this is an, another amazing benefit for using the creative fabrica which i found recently not recently guys i found it when i was starting with the platform it's really really awesome because no one is giving you money just to upload your artwork or designs on the platform like no one is giving you they are giving that because of their business model because it's a kind of like their platform is mainly focusing on the subscription model people actually pay for the subscription to get the graphics to get the different things on their platform and since uh, based on the subscription model if you have the more stuff on your platform then naturally your subscription more people will going to subscribe to that particular thing and you're going to get more money so that's their model to have more content on the platform that's why they are giving designers for just uploading an artwork or design on their platform which is really awesome guys no other platform no other website is giving you money for just you need to upload your artwork and design on the platform so take an advantage of the creative fabric right now before it gets too competitive before their business model changes before their terms and condition changes so right now it's an amazing it's an amazing opportunity for you to hop up on right now before it gets too competitive and before they change any terms and conditions or they change their business model so it's worth checking it right now guys now another thing that i really want to talk about is really amazing is the kdp like if you are making your own kdp interiors and you are having uh, you are making these KDP interiors and you are uh, making these low content book on the Amazon, on the Kindle Direct Publishing, on the KDP, then you can upload the same interior that you are actually making for your own books onto their platform as well. Yes, guys, many people come on their platform to actually purchase the KDP interior. It's a really hot niche on their platform. It's really, really hot. Apart from the graphics, apart from the illustrations, apart from all the designer cell phones and all that, the KDP interiors are hot on the platform. Many designers, in fact, many people who are uh, linked to the KDP, they want the interior for their KDP books and they are coming onto the um, Creative Fabrica to purchase that thing, to purchase KDP interiors. And KDP interiors are quite easy and fun to make, guys. You can make it for yourself and you can use the InDesign, the Canva, the Photoshop. There are many softwares out there. There are many stuffs out there which you can use to create your own KDP interior. And you can sell these KDP interiors on the Creative Fabrica and you can make more money on the Creative Fabrica because it's a hot topic. Many people are coming on the platform to actually purchase the Creative KDP interiors. And KDP interiors are really easy to make, guys. It's like it's easy for me it may not be easy for other people but apart from making the graphics apart from making the bundles of the graphics and fonts and all that kdp interior is much more easy to make than making the graphics it's my it's my personal experience maybe it's different for you but guys it's really worth checking it right now because i know that Many of people are right now selling onto the KDP as a low and no content book. So you are already creating a KDP interior for your low and no content book. So why not sell onto the Creative Fabric and make more income apart from just selling onto the Amazon? So that's an amazing way to hop up on right now before it gets too competitive because people are checking out that Creative Fabric is huge. It's hot right now, especially for the KDP. So many people are making these KDP interiors. Yes, guys, it's worth it to sell on Creative Fabric. It's really, really worth it, guys. The answer to this question is hell yes, hell yes. Go for it. Get an approval on Creative Fabric. Start selling on the Creative Fabrica to earn more passive income online and it's really simple. It's really simple to upload on their platform. It's really um, platform is quite simple and quite user friendly to use it. Like it's not complicated. There is just one page you need to fill for uploading onto the Creative Fabrica. So it's really worth checking it guys. If you want me to make a video talking about how to upload on Creative Fabrica, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna make another video talking about this specific topic. But it's really worth it guys. This platform is new right now, 2016 it started. So it's new right now. Many people are coming onto their platform to purchase the KDP interiors, graphics, illustrations. So much more from their platform. Right now people are coming onto their platform and not many sellers are there onto the Creative Fabrica. 
not many sellers in comparison to the Criticate or Hungry JPEG or Redbubble or any other platform out there. So it's really worth checking it. This platform is growing daily, guys, and it's really amazing opportunity for you to right now hop up as being an artist, as being a designer. So that's it. I want to say that's all I want to talk in this video, guys. I hope I have answered your question very well about the Creative Fabrica. It's worth it or not. Hell yes, it's worth it guys, it's really worth it. Go check it out, get an approval on that. And if you find any difficulty in getting an approval, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna another, make another video talking about that because I have already made a video talking about how to get an approval onto the Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna make another video explaining much more in depth about it so that it would be more clear to you and more helpful to you to open up a shop onto the Creative Fabrica. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's videos. Leave a comment below to let me know about that. And see you for the next time, guys. Take care. Bye, guys.